Hello everybody and welcome back to another album haul video. Now, I will be in this video showing off every record I bought in June 2023. But before we begin, I do want to give a shout out to YouTube's boy. I did not buy this in June 2023. But I did recently do a full review of it on my channel, so I hope maybe you'll go check that out after this video is over. Now, without further ado, let's move on to what I actually bought in June 2023. Okay, for first batch albums, we are going to be starting off with Al Stewart's Past, Present, and Future. Very nice album. I quite like Al Stewart. Um, it's not my favorite Al Stewart album, but it's one I was missing, so very nice. Next thing is The Beach Boys' is Surf Up. Um, kind of hard to see in the lighting. It's the original shrink wrap. That's why it has this big stick over here. I might remove that, honestly, since it looks kind of ugly. Um, getting quite a bit of glue on the camera, but there it is. Pretty nice. Um... Also, we've got Frampton Comes Alive by Pale Frampton. Very famous album. Not that uncommon of an album, but I just didn't have it yet. Okay, what I got next was two Bee Gees albums. I got Horizontal and I got Idea, both from 1968. Both were in very good condition, so that's a very nice thing to have. I actually quite like the Bee Gees. I'm one of their big cool defenders uh, from the classic rock community, so yeah, very nice. I also got Olo Guffrey's Alice's Restaurant. Of course, there's a fellow Oklahoman. I have to love Olo Guffrey because, you know, it's Olo Guffrey. Um, Buffalo Springfield again. Just an album I didn't have. Very nice thing to have. Alright, now that we're about halfway through the video, I do want to, of course, remind you all to like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And be sure to comment below and hit the bell button as that helps me out a great deal. Now, the next thing we're looking at is a little weird. This is Olay, E-L-O. It's an Electric Orchestra compilation album. I actually already had this album. But this is a Not For We Sell radio promo copy that is actually on yellow vinyl, which... Let's see if I can walk around my lighting setup and show you. They're kind of... Uh, gold, transparent gold, yellow, vinyl, DJ use only, not for sale it says, and it says on the sleeve as well, it's a little bit different from the standard version. I may show these off in another video here at some point. Um, but yeah, it's a very nice collection piece, especially for someone who's a big Electro Orchestra fan like I am. Alright, for the next batch of stuff, I have this, David Bowie 1966, it's a, basically a record store day compilation of some of his singles from 1966. Now, I am going to be reviewing David Bowie's Force 1967 album coming this month, so keep an eye out for that. Um, very nice, I guess. Um, next thing I got was Tom Petty's Hold Promises. Very nice addition to the collection. This is my second Tom Petty album. I already have Wildflowers. That's quite nice. And I also got Starbucks Moonlight Fills White. Kind of a odd, I guess, semi-obscure these days album. But very pleasing, kind of 70s cheese there. Okay, now the next thing I got this month were these Beatles bootlegs. Back in 1964 at the Hollywood Bowl and around the Beatles. Now, I've already showed these off in a video called um, I Bought a Mystery Vinyl Record. So be sure to maybe go check that out as well as I do describe the actual contents of these albums in that video. As well as listen to them and give my kind of initial thoughts on what is actually on them. So yeah. Um, very nice, kind of made for a fun video idea there. Alright, for the last few things I got, this is Led Zeppelin's Physical Graffiti. Um, this is the 40th Anniversary Edition. Um, and this was the last Led Zeppelin album I needed. Of course, there's still variants and different versions of albums to get, but this is the last one that was actually a full Led Zeppelin album that I needed to complete my set, as I already had a coda, as well as the song remains the same. Also got... Pink Floyd's Pipe White Gates of Dawn. This is a mono um, remaster from, I think, 2017. Um, very nice album to have. Just didn't already have it. I have listened to it before, uh, though, before even buying it on, like, streaming. Very nice piece of my collection. I quite like it. And, of course, something else by The Kinks. This is also a repressing. Uh, still, very good album. It does have The Kinks' best song on it, Waterloo Sunset. So, yeah, quite a nice addition to my Kinks collection. Okay, so now if you made it this far in the video, I'm out of records to look at, but I do want to say thank you all for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button below, because it does help me out a great deal. Uh, thank you all for watching, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope you'll go watch maybe some of my other videos, or at least I hope to see you in my next video. So once again, thank you, and have a great rest of your day.